that shows. Your work, your body of work shows. You can't hide it. You see the size of the group that we have, right? This is what I told you what the size of the group was gonna be. This is not a money thing. This is actually for someone to get, actually three or four someone to get placed. And the opportunity is here now. And the opportunity is if you want to seize it or not. And it starts right now. Matter of fact, it started when you guys called either myself or Hassan. That's when we started interviewing you, okay? So now the next step of the interview process starts right now. Uh, welcome everybody to Bridgewater Academy. Uh, like my business partner said, we, uh, group. we wanted to condense this group. Uh, to basically give you guys opportunities to go overseas. I, along with such different agents and people, we played, we had a great showcase in Las Vegas. I was fortunate to play some players overseas actually a week, two weeks ago. We wanted to condense this, have a small group, so we can, you guys can showcase what you have, all right? So I, have, I believe we have 17, 18 players, it's perfect. So everybody's gonna be able to showcase what they have. Uh, I want you guys to go hard, me and Eric are going to be going through the drills to see where you guys are at uh, conditionally, conditional uh, wise, all right? So I want you guys to go after it. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to talk. All right. All right my name is Armando Valadez. I'm a FIBA certified agent from Mexico. Um, we decided we wanted to do it here with, uh, with Mr. Eric and Hassan because, like he, they said, uh, the one in Vegas was very interesting. And um, we're still looking for a couple of spots here for the National League, and uh, I'll present my, my partner here for the Dominican Republic as well. Uh, basically, what they said is what it is, man. Just you know, just do your thing, and uh, let everything else take care of itself. Do your spot, you know. Do what you got to do. If you play a three or a four, you know, don't hesitate to to, to, to let Hassan know or uh, Eric, so you guys can be comfortable in the spot that you're at. All right, we're gonna keep it real, very real. Like I always say, guys, not everybody will get a job, but at least you guys get to compete against players that have the same level or a lot of, or maybe better level than you guys, so you get to know what you got to work on. Yeah. Okay. Man. This is your your body is your 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 uh, tool for work, so you guys take care of that. Okay. You, if you're still aspiring to play ball overseas, it's very important you guys take care of that. Uh, my partner. I'm Ballar Sports Manager from DR, Mr. Leocadio, Kenya. Okay. I'll be translating. <laughs> Nada, eh, muy interesado y muy, eh, que, si yo emocionado también a ver muchos jóvenes con talento aquí, allá en República Dominicana y parte del Caribe. He's very interested and excited about seeing players with good talent in, in the Caribbean. Eh, estamos interesados en jugadores. Eh, eh, Ustedes así, con, con, con grandes habilidades, grandes talentos, por eso andamos chequeando, andamos viendo. Si ustedes se han dado cuenta, en los últimos años nosotros, República Dominicana ha crecido en el ranking mundial de baloncesto y allá se está jugando buen baloncesto ahora. Estábamos en el lugar 77 y estamos en el lugar 16 ahora mismo a nivel mundial. He says that DR has been moving up in the, in the world ranking. They used to be in 77, ahora en cuanta cosa? 16. And now they're in 16. So the level of play there has really risen in the last few years. Estamos peleando en los mundiales con Brasil. Estamos haciendo buenos torneos. República Dominicana se hacen alrededor de 12 torneos al año. They have about 12. A nivel provincial y un torneo nacional. They have 12, 12 different tournaments during the year and one big uh, national tournament. So there's always work in DR. Ahora mismo tenemos en la Liga Nacional, you're not gonna make, you're not gonna get rich playing in, in, the, in DR or these other countries, but you'll make some good money. Estamos viendo los talentos de ustedes en estos días que vamos a estar aquí lo vamos a ver, lo vamos a tomar en cuenta y si consideramos que califican para ir a trabajar allá, pues lo promocionaremos allá y veremos a ver qué trabajo se consigue. We're gonna be checking everybody and. Uh, if, you're, if you have that talent and, and of course the attitude that we always check, uh, we'll definitely promote you guys to get jobs down there. And, and think about this, fellas, because we heard it in the summer. These leagues gotta go all year round. If you don't hear from us in a week or a month, that don't mean we forgot. We just, the leagues hasn't started or there's always certain things that they, they're going on. But if we contact you, believe me guys, we're trying to place you. Okay? Two more things. 
Uh, if you have a dual nationality, please let us know because that helps everyone else. Well, if you have uh, Mexican heritage or uh, Dominican, if you have uh, German, you're born in a German background, go ahead. Yeah, and Reese, I'm just going to compliment real quick. I don't hate to yeah, go ahead. But mainly what that is, fellas, is that instead of competing against a, for, uh, a foreign player with, with high uh, uh, resume or, or background, you'll be competing against the locals, which gives you a better opportunity. Usually the teams in, in, the, in overseas have two or three American players or, or just foreign players. It can be from anywhere, usually American players from Division I colleges and stuff like that. But the other, the other uh, spots are wide open for nationals. So you'd be competing against them. That's the interesting part of that. And then uh, the last piece. Um, Elvis, go ahead. Elvis Blunt will be filming the showcase. Okay. So I'll let him explain what he has to offer. I'm uh, here in Charlotte, man. I know it's a lot of people that um, you know question or you know what I'm saying need have questions about what they need to do to get stronger, get bigger or not necessarily get bigger, but just get stronger. I, I, I pass out cards, man, so if anybody got any questions, I'll be here today and tomorrow. So I pass out cards for those that, uh, that are looking for someone to help them get stronger. Uh, I trust you, we get that work. So. Oh, definitely. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Spread. And straight down. Uh, KJ Ross from Charlotte, North Carolina, just played at John C. Smith University. Anthony Cousin, number 69, from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, from Louisville, Kentucky, and went to Illinois State. Okay. Yep. Demetrius Robinson from Raleigh, North Carolina, went to UNC Greensboro. Demetrius Robinson, yeah. go ahead. All right, good. Chris Gilks, um, Syracuse, New York, and I went to Oswego State. 64, uh, Cortez Stevenson, and I went to Smith, but I played in Estonia last season. Yeah. Okay. My name is Asa Braxton. Um, from Brooklyn, New York. I uh, played in the ABA last year at Jersey Express. Um, at Point Park University in college. Chris Turner, number 72, UT Permian Basin, San Jose, California. Marquette Lothar from Marshfield, North Carolina. Played at John C. Smith. Jaquan Gord, uh, number 90, from Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, played at Ohio Marshall, West Virginia last season in South America. Uh, West Virginia. Uh, Janelle Harris, Charlotte, North Carolina. I went to uh, Allen University in Columbia, yeah. South Carolina. Okay. Eric yeah, Howell, number 78, Charlotte, North Carolina, Livingstone yeah. College. Yeah. Ty Harris from Columbia, South Carolina. Went to uh, Guilford College, Greensboro, North Carolina. Chris Daniels from Atlanta, Georgia, with the Shorter University. Kasim Davidson from Powassan College, uh -huh. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Robert Carpenter, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I went to Francis Marion University. Um, Jordan Aaron from the Bronx, New York, and I went to the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Roy Wallace, Buffalo, New York, University of South Carolina, Salkahatchee, number seven. Okay, first move behind the line, behind the line. Half court, run it all the way out. Go, first move.
Hassan Ahad of Bridgewater Academy. Uh, we've been doing Bridgewater since 2009. It's been a uh, wonderful experience for the ball players. Uh, myself, my business partner, Eric Bellamy uh, included. Um, our main objective is to place players overseas uh, in Europe, Middle East, Latin America, um, all over. Um, D League, we also have. Pass ball, next person, next group. Go, go. We have, uh, we've been doing camps in Las Vegas since 2009. Been very successful placing players. We've placed, uh, I would say, roughly uh, 25 to 30 players. Um, since then, it's growing every year. It, it blows up, and, and more people know about it and, and whatnot. So it's a, it's a great situation. One, two, four. By the way, my name is Hassan Ahad, and I've been training uh, professional ball players uh, actually since 2007. Uh, I work with college kids, I work with um, the youth as well. Uh, this is our second day of a big time camp that we're doing, an exposure camp. Uh, we were fortunate to have uh, South America here. We actually have a scout from the Dominican Republic, one from uh, Mexico as well. Um, and. Um, our goal is to place as many high-level ball players at this camp, Bridgewater Academy. Uh, the camp started September 3rd, 2016. Today is September 4th, 2016. We did skills and drills yesterday, uh, very successful. And uh, today we have basically two games that are going on. We have uh, a condensed camp of 18 ball players. One, two, go. One, two. All the way down. Go. We had two, uh, two teams that are really going at it. We have ball players that have flown in uh, from New York, uh, all as far as California, guards, uh, shooting guards, uh, small forwards, bigs, and centers that can really go after it. Uh, these ball players are fresh out of college. Uh, the majority of them, some are already are pros that are looking to expand um, uh, their marketing uh, uh, situation to play in bigger markets in Europe, in Latin America, in the Middle East, uh, and in Asia. And hopefully some will be able to pursue their, their dreams, fresh ball players coming out of college to play overseas. Uh, everything has been going very well. Uh, my business partner Eric Bellamy and myself are very pleased with the talent. And uh, we're just hoping that these, these young men uh, can pursue their dreams and, and get good jobs. Everybody keep it different. Okay? Four. Alright, go. go.